It's actually just how it looks. Give it a shot. Just it's fanatic. Just how it looks. Good job. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. Great job. Thank you very much, Madam Toastmaster. I want to make just a quick uh, correction. My name is pronounced Jamil, not Jamal. So really, really, really close. So I always have to just, you know, it, it, it's an easy thing to need a correction on. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I would like to start off this morning with a story. So the story that I'm going to be talking about today is my own personal challenges over the last few years with weight loss. I've always been a stocky guy. I've always been a little bit heavy set. Over the last five years, about five years ago, I realized my kids aren't really that young anymore. They're starting to grow up and I'm getting older too. And I need to continue to focus on my health so that I'm gonna be able to be around for my kids as they get older. What I've done is every single fad diet there is on the market. I've done the low carb, I've done the low fat, I've counted calories, I've done my fitness pal. I've done all of these things and I think I'm going to make the biggest changes and have these big huge results. And it works for a little while. I'll lose 20 pounds here, gain another 30. One time I actually lost 30 pounds and gained 40 of it back. It's this rotating cycle. How many of you, maybe it's not with weight loss, but how many of you have also seen this? You make a big change for a while and you get some results and then it falls back to the wayside. How many in here have experienced that? Exactly, all of us have. So what I want to talk to you guys today about is the experiences that I've had and the success I've had by instead of focusing on these big, huge changes and ideas to bring it down to all the small things and how I've been able to search for positivity, how that provides a sense of hope and how I've been able to see the biggest changes by putting the focus on these small things. So, at first, I realized I have this big, huge boulder of negativity weighing me down. Why am I, why am I, why is my weight so high? It really has a big part to play in the way that I feel. There's this big, huge boulder, if you will, of bad energy that I have. It's a literal weight that's weighing me down. I feel like I'm out of balance. I'm out of emotional balance. So I've been trying to grab another big, huge boulder to put on the other side to balance that out, which works for a little bit, but then it falls off. What I'm realizing is in order to really balance that big, huge boulder of negativity on one side, I need to add a thousand little pebbles of positivity to balance out the weight of that one big, huge boulder. It kind of goes like this, is that all of the negative things that happen in our lives, there might be a few of them, but they, they take up so much of our time and energy and our thought processes. It doesn't leave time for the amazing things in our life, which they're not, might be way so big, 
but there's an abundance of more amazing small things that we can add to the other side of that balance to counteract that negativity. For me, I had to change all of my small habits. Um, it came to eating better, making the little tiny efforts in the littlest moments to not go have that ice cream or to not have that bag of chips. Go and have a healthy snack instead. Go and have uh, apple instead of a candy bar. Sometimes I didn't want to work out. I wanted to sit on the sit on the couch and watch TV. I need to take the effort in that little tiny moment to just say, at least put your shoes on. And then that's the first step that you need to get out and go to the gym, right? Or maybe even if I don't want to go to the gym, at least go downstairs to the elliptical machine that I have that was collecting dust in my basement. The other little pebble of positivity that I had needed to look for in order to counteract this huge weight of negativity is my mental state. It all starts in here. And really, that pedible of positivity was gratitude. The more that I found how grateful I am for just being alive, I'm grateful for the fact that I have the ability to have this relationship with my children. These feelings of gratitude is also adding to that counterbalance. One thing that I noticed is the more and more that I made these little tiny small changes in my life, I am seeing results over time. I kind of put the expectation or scorecard out of my head and just wanted to see a little bit of results here and there. After the first two weeks, I, might have, I dropped a few pounds, which those little small things are starting to add up. As these little small things add up, oh man, that brings about such a huge sense of hope, a sense of, I know that things are gonna get better. I know that they're gonna get better. And they did. These little small things so far in 2019 have added up to me losing 50 pounds so far. These, thank you, thank you. This 50 pound weight reduction is a big, huge accomplishment that came from focusing on these little tiny small things. Now, another way that these little small things have impacted me in a profound way is I recently went on a hike in Rocky Mountain National Park to the very top of Mount Ida. Now, this was extremely challenging, but all of the little small things that I did was just one foot in front of the other. Every single time I thought, I can't do it, I can't do it, another foot in front of the other. Before I know it, I'm halfway up the mountain and I'm thinking, I can't believe I did it. I have hope to go forward. And that hope drove me to the top of the mountain and I was able to be at the top of the world. So I leave you with this. What are the small things that can benefit your life that will help you get to the top of your mountain? Thank you. Thanks, Marissa.